ladies and gents, I'm um, just coming to show you, I'm trying <laughs> to do an altered hoop. I'm going to swap for um, Crafty Swappers UK um, over on Facebook, which is a, a crafty swap group that I'm in. And the host is uh, uh, Kazikins over here on YouTube, um, my lovely friend Kay, and it is an altered hoop swap. So I've just been getting some bits and bobs together to see what I can come up with. Now I did get a sort of an idea off of Pinterest. Um, I will um, put the link below when I finish my video. And basically it's not your normal kind of idea of an altered hoop. What, um, what was on this picture, um, I don't think there was a tutorial or anything. It was just a picture that I saw. And what the lady had done was she'd created a pocket and um, you could put like your, you know, your bits of sewing things in there. So that's the kind of idea that I'm going for um, that I've seen over on Pinterest. So I've um, got some of the, um, I've got some of this lovely fabric that I've had um, gifted, and I'm just, um, just getting it sorted really, and trying to get it because I don't want the pocket too deep. Because I'm only going to put little things in, and I do want to put a vintage image on. So I want to leave room for that. So I want my pocket to go about there, reckon. So let's see if I can get the outer part of the hoop on with this um, thickness of fabric. It might not, might not work. I don't know if that pocket's deep enough. Let's just right. I want that there. So if I have it there. I can lift my pocket up a little bit. So you, if you're going to put a pocket, you want to be able to put something in it. There's no point having it if you then it's too shallow to put anything in. So I want that there. So I can still lift it up a little bit more to make it a little bit more deeper. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's about right. So I'm in shot. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this. It's one of the stretch hoops rather than one with the, you know, the tensiony, twisty bit at the top. Um, right, I'm happy with that, that's gone in nicely. So that's created a pocket at the bottom there. Um, oh, that's quite cute actually. And what I might do is, um, off camera, I might go and sew it into three pockets. But I'll do that in a minute. This bit here, I'll, I'll tuck back here and glue. Um, again, I'll do that shortly. So that's what I'm doing, I'm creating... Um, like a, 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 a little, oops, a little pocket, uh, and I'll put some uh, little scissors in and some like needle and thread or something. Or I might put some um, lace, a little spool with some lace on or something. I'm not sure yet. Right. So as I said, this bit here, I'll glue back. You know, I'll glue to the edge and then I'll cover it with felt. So there we go. We've got a nice pocket there. Right, so I'm going to get this vintage image and I'm going to start and think about decorating it. Now this hoop is just slightly, I just need to bend it in. I think this is one I've had off of Lynn Kent. I've had some off Lynn Kent and some off my friend Berna. Um, the, the wideness of this photo is just a little bit narrower than my frame, so I'm just going to try and bend it into the shape that I want. I'm not going to worry too much because I'll just put some... If you've got a, a mistake, just cover it with a flower. That's my mantra. Right, I'm just going to trim the edges of this so that it's not showing. I don't know if you can hear the rain absolutely lashing. It is really, really wintry here in Yorkshire. Uh, right. So I'm going to put that, oh, there's the join, you can see the join of the crochet in there, so that's roughly the centre, okay, right, I'm just going to adhere the picture and I'm just going to put some hot glue on. Um, they are nicer if you can get fabric printed images, but um, it, it can be tricky to do, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to put some glue around the edges of this crochet frame and then just quite literally 
stick it right on top, pretty straight forward. Right, I'll just position that like that because if there's a gap at one side, I can put some flowers, don't matter. So that's where we're at so far. Is that in the center? Let's have a look. So there we go, we've got that so far, hope you can see, you might try and zoom in a little bit and hope that uh, don't go out of focus. Right, and then I did make these um, myself, I made two sets, so I may well put them up there, I don't know quite where to put them yet. Oh, I quite like that, just like that there on its own. I want to keep it, to be honest, I don't want it over fussy. I do like things quite fussy. I have been accused lots of times of overdoing things. But um, do you know what? I don't care. Because <laughs> that's how I like to do it. Um, so I'm just going to put that on the side there. And the, the lovely pinks of those little flowers that I've um, made. Just goes lovely with the pink, pink fabric. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. So there we go, so that's picking up the pinks again. Um, I was going to put like a trim around the outside, but do you know what, I might just leave it as is. Um, and let me have a think. I wouldn't mind using this other, this other uh, embellishment that I've come up with, that I've made. Um, but I don't know if it might be a bit much. It might be nice down there, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it there. Um, because I've made it uh, specifically for this project. So I'm going to use it. So I'm going to pop that there, like so. Just hold it while the glue dries. Make sure it's not... Um, Stopping my pocket from being used. So there we go, that's it so far. I'm going to put a nice trim across there, I think. Let's have a look, shall we use this one? No, because I don't want to hide the fact that it's a pocket, if I'm honest. Let me have a look what I've got. Hmm, let me think. Uh, let me think what I've got. What can I use? That's quite pretty, isn't it? Do I want to wait until I've sewn my pockets? I think I will wait until I've sewn um, the pockets that I want to put in. I'm going to just go away and I'm going to do that now and then come back. Right ladies, I'm back. Um, I'm just doing a running stitch up the centre of the pocket that I've um, formed. I've decided it's not big enough for three pockets, so I'm just doing two. So I'm just doing a very, very basic back stitch. It's probably not straight. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just a little bit on edge because my husband's about, and I won't put it past him to come in and shout some inappropriate. <laughs> it's terrible, and then I'll have to stop my video and do it all over again. The pain in the but but but. <laughs> oh dear, it is fun. Right. Oh. Take these stitches a bit wider or else I'll be here all day. Don't have to be perfect. It's only really for display. It's probably not going to get used, is it? So I'll take my stitches a bit bigger and then we're not here watching me. So, doing it very boringly. Um, for an hour, no, you don't want to be watching that. I'm sure most ladies know how to sew, even if it's not perfect. Um, we'll cover it up with a trim, don't matter. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some um, bits and bobs on that I've got from the trinket parlour as well, which is my friend Emily's um, little shop. Um, I'm just going to dot them about because I haven't used any of them yet and I've got quite a big, quite a big hoard of them now. Right, I'm just going to turn that over and, and just uh, cast off this, this sewing. Just tighten a little knot. And again, the 
back can look as untidy as it wants. I'll tidy that up later. Um, like I said, maybe add some felt to it or maybe just tidy it up and put a trim round. But we've now got two little pockets there. Let me just... I've got a bit of a mess here. Um, now I've got these pearlised leaves that are from Emily's shop. So I'm just going to dot them about my um, little collection of flowers there that I've made. Because um, it's nice to mix and match your handmade things with shop-bought things. You don't want everything, you don't have to be shop-bought. But it, it, it just adds all different elements. It just adds interest and it's things to look at. And So there we go, I'm having those there. Just wait while that dries, so I'm happy with those. Um, now I did want something in a hair there. Just having a look at all of my trinket pile of goodies and I want to use this key somehow. It's going to go there somewhere. What else have we got? What else can I use in my trinket pile of stash? I do like these little birds. I think I'll use one of these. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? I'll have one of them. I'll have one of them fellas on it. And we'll just stick it just there I think. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, what else can we have? Uh, I wish I'd put that on now instead because it's got a bit more colour. No, let's take that off before it blue dries. And I'm going to have this little butterfly instead because it's got pink on it. Oh, that's prettier. If you can just see there. Just take that key off. Just put the little butterfly there. Right, now let's have a look. Make sure there's no glue strands. Uh, what else have I got here? Hmm. Don't really want to use that cameo. I think that's all I'm going to use with my trinket pile of goodies at the moment. Uh, although I could change my mind yet. <laughs> uh, I've one of these. Yeah, I'm going to use one of these pearl flowers and I'm just going to put that up. The brilliant these as little fillers. Um, I got a massive packet of them. Massive packet of about 200 of these for like, what, £1.50 or something? They're absolutely they're lovely to use and they're dirt cheap. I'm just going to put something in the middle of there. Might use one of these little, oh that looks pretty, I've got these little porcelain flowers that I got from Emily's shop so I'm going to stick that in the middle. But you could put a little pearl or a little bling or anything in the middle, and like I say, they just make nice fillers. Oh yeah, that's pretty, I like that, I might put one over there, let's have a look. See, I'm quite symmetrical, <laughs> I do like things to be the same at each side, although I don't have any more of those so I can't put any there. If I put that there, is that going to hide her face? Yeah, it is. I don't want it. Do I want one there? No, I don't think I do, actually. I think it looks nice like that. Um, I want a lily. If I do, I want a light one, don't I? Might put a, just put a little lily. I like to use lilies on as many projects as possible, especially these Kyla lilies because they are my favourite. So let's have a look. If we can just just slot a few in there. Get them to the position that I want them. Just manipulate them. Don't be worried to move things about. You're not going to spoil anything. Another one. Like so. And then I'm just going to put what can I put there? Have a look. I want to put some at. I want to, oh that's pretty. What does that look like? I put that oh that's nice. I just like dotting these little metal pieces 
in and amongst the softness of the oh it stuck to my finger oh that's not having it is it come on get in you monkey just got them about there we go in and amongst you all the roses and stuff oh there's glue strands there now hold on a minute get that glue off of there got a thread hanging there and it's bothering me, I'm just going to cut it. There we go. And I'm going to put a couple of pink. A couple of pink ones as well. Or maybe just one. Just to make a little bit of a flourish there. Oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. Do I want some that coming down there as well? I think I will. I think I'll have another one of these off to the side. Talk to myself when I'm working. I don't know if you do. Most of the time it's um, just drivel, just talk drivel. Right, stick that there. Yep, yeah. and then another pink one. Let's have a look. Stick that in there like that. Yeah, and we've got a nice cluster going on there now. Okay, now I need some leaves. Where are my leaves? Where are they? Go get some leaves. They can be quite noisy, my lot. <laughs> now, I don't know if these leaves are a bit big. Let me have a look. They might be a little bit too much. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they're way too big then. Way too big. So, plan B. What we do if the leaves are too big? Uh, we get some spirals instead. You know, if you just need a little pop of green, you use the spirals from the flowers that you've used and you just wrap it around something, anything will do, just to get a spiral. It's a bit thick that actually, hold on a minute. Not going well this, so going peak Tom. <laughs> So you just wrap it round like so and it will and then unspiral it. There you go. End up with a nice spiral. Let's trim that bit off. And then just glue it into your project. Just adds a little bit of green if you've not got some leaves. Because I think when you're doing flowers you want it it, it, it don't seem natural without some green in it. So it all helps. I find something better to spiral it round than that. Just use my pencil. It's better. There we go. That rain's still lashing on that window, blimey. Right. If anybody's still there, I know it's a long process video. I am sorry. I might try and cut some of it out. We'll see how we go. I'm just going to stick that in there. No, I don't want it there. I want it over here. Okay, okay. Try again. Bit of put it over here. There we go. Just a little bit of green. Don't need a lot. I'm just gonna trim that. So it looks tidy. Pull that spiral out till I'm happy with it. Let's have a look. 
Right, I think I need one. I think I do need one in the centre. Uh, don't know. So, I've had to stop the video a few times because my family are all home and they're all really noisy. My husband thinks it's funny to come in and shout silly words. So, um, I don't know where I was up to it on the last take, but I've just finished this little cluster here. I've put um, some lilies in and some little um, foam roses with some green and some little spirals coming out. Just to add a pop of green because I did have some leaves, but they're a little bit too big. So, now what I'm going to do is... I've got this lovely key and it says, if I have it that way, dream. So I'm just going to, I just want it here. I just want it to sit here or here somewhere. So I'm just going to attach some bits of stuff to it. Uh, I've got some seam binding. Um, I'm going to attach some seam. I think I've got cream somewhere. Um, but I'm not altogether sure where it is. So... We'll have to make do with what we've got, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Let me see. What have I got? What I can use? Right, let's have a look. I've got this one. So I'm just going to tie some random trims to the to the key so that they can just like dangle down, and it is literally random. Probably the more random the better, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to tie a few things to it anyway and see what it looks like. If it looks pants, I won't use it. <laughs> You've just got to keep trying different things, haven't you? Um, and uh, see what happens, really, is all you can do. I uh, don't know if that'll tie in or not or not. No. I'm going to leave that like that. Now I've got a little something that I could maybe glue onto there. Let's have a look. No. It's that way, Amanda. Yeah, right. So I'm happy with that. how that is. And I'm going to make sure I've got it the right way up. I'm just going to put some glue on the fabric bit and a little bit on there and see if we can get it to stick. It may well not want to. Just might not want to stick because it's metal but we'll say we'll try. Has that glowed? Right and so to help it a little bit more, give it a bit of stability, I'm going to Put a bit more glue there. Put another one of these on. These little porcelain roses from Emily's shop. That's pretty. That looks really nice now. I'm happy with that. And we've got our bit of bit of dangle there, look, coming off of that key, like so. So all I need to do now is I want a little bit of something here but I don't know what and uh, then fill my pockets and put some trims there so I'll be back back in a minute Hello, ladies and gents right <laughs> I'm back um this video you may find maybe in a couple of like cut into pieces bits <laughs> because I'm trying to do about a million things at once here so I have to keep stopping my video and um, starting again so uh, where am I up to? I've constructed the pocket, I've sewn there, I've added my embellishments, I've done the key. Now, what I've done is, whilst I was away and I was making tea and whatever of you, I made this, which is, if you can see, a tiny little poofy miniature pincushion. And all I've done is I've got a, a small circle of fabric, done a running stitch all the way around the edge of the circle, filled it with stuffing, pulled it tight, and then I've gone up through the middle with my thread and I've sewn it into quarters and then, um, you know, a, another one into eights. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. <laughs> 
uh, and then you just pull it tight and you just keep going up the middle over through again and that's how you make them they're super easy little pin cushion and in the center there i've just sewn one of the little buttons that came from the trinket parlor and that is going to go on my altered hoop and it's going to go just here and then i'm going to put some little pins in it okay um, so I'm going to stick that on now and I'm just going to glue it on with hot glue. Um, it's not heavy so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm just going to put it just there. I'm just going to press it from the back. Ouch. Trying not to burn myself. And then I'm going to get some pins. And you know, you can just put a few little... You can see. Shall I just zoom in a right little bit so you can see a bit better? There you go. So then I can, um, you know, when I send it, put some pins in. Um, you could decorate them if you wanted, but um, you know the theme is that it's like a bit of a uh, sewing theme. Maybe I might have should have put a little sewing machine there instead of a key, but um, never mind. Right, I'm just going to decorate this pocket here, and I'm just going to hide this where I've sewn it um very unelegantly so i'm just i'm trying to use up scraps i've got quite a growing scrap bag and it needs using to be honest so yeah i'm going to use that so i'm just going to turn it round while i do it i'm just going to glue a straight straight line right up to the top of there i'm just going to glue on this little trim just press it on and then I'm going to find my fabric scissors yeah. and it's more or less central is that it's not far off just make sure that that's on and then I'm just going to use this oh, it's got a bit of a thread on it because it's out my scrap bag it's just a small gathered just plain I think it's a uh, ivory or white I'm not sure so I'm just going to tidy the edge up and I'm just going to attach it uh, should really have done this before I put my embellishments on but you don't always think do you just put a bit of uh, glue on there put it on there as I said this video is going to be a bit of a cut and shut <laughs> So I hope you can follow it. I do apologise. Uh, I've had to do it in stages because you know it is when you've got a family to look after. You can't always just dedicate a full half hour without being interrupted. It's as simple as that. So I'm just gluing that and I'm just going to attach it. And I'm going to just put my hand inside the pocket while I'm gluing it to make sure it doesn't stick to the underside of the pocket. And glue, basically glue the pocket shut. We don't want that. That's not good. Just trim it, lift it back and glue it. Like so. Uh, just try and stretch my lace because I have cut it actually a tiny little bit too short. Never mind, I'm not bothered. Uh, so there we go. Uh, do I want anything else on there? Let me just get rid of some of my glue strands. Uh, wish I'd done some more rolled roses now and put them there as well. In fact, I may well do that. Um, I may well add uh, another flourish, another uh, just maybe a singular rolled rose to there with a couple of leaves. Um, in fact, I think I will. Right, so. I've just quickly, off camera, just quickly made another road rose because I've just decided that I want another one to go just right there. Okay, so let's get that glued on and then the embellishment part for me is just about done. Um, let me just attach that to there. Like so, yes I'm happy with that and then what I also just did as well, if you can just see there, I just attached a little, because I'd used a key charm here and I did, told myself I wanted to put a sewing charm, so I've just attached one to one of the little pins on the little pin cushion so the lady can take it out and use it if she wants. 
Um, so now I'm happy with the balance of these flowers and that just tidies up that corner. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit, out. Um, I'm just going to put some bits and bobs in, in inside the pockets for her. Um, so I've got these little miniature um, spools. They're for putting embroidery thread on, so I'm going to use one of these. I've got some of this uh, vintage style uh, tape measure ribbon. I'll give her some of that. Uh, I've got some little scissors somewhere. I'll give her a pair of little scissors. Just wrap some of that round. There are some of these little embroidery bobbins for just, uh, you know, sending you little gifts or whatever. So I'll just pop that inside one of the little pockets and have it just peeking out like that so she can see it. And then on the other one, I'm just going to give her some of this beautiful vintage ribbon that I've just got in. Let me just measure it so that I can account for it because I'll have to pay for this. <laughs> so it's out my shop. Let me just measure it. One metre. Right, so I'm just going to wrap this on. Then she can have some of that as well. Let's have a separator. Wrap it round. It's a little bit wide to be honest, but never mind. And it's all sewing theme. Um, so it's pretty. And I'm just going to tuck that in there like that, inside that pocket. There we go. Right, I've got a little pair of scissors. About that, just had to go and nip and get a, a pair of scissors, a little pair of sewing scissors there. Just slot them inside the pocket like that, and uh, I'm happy with that. I think it looks ever so pretty. I just need to tidy up the back. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Out, out, out. So there you go. That's a lovely little gift for somebody. Uh, an altered embroidery hoop. I'll tidy this bit up later. <laughs> I hope she likes it. Um, I've had great fun making it, um, the handmade parts, and uh, I love making this little thing as well. Uh, really, really cute. You could even turn that into a little charm, or if you're doing a um, sewing themed shadow box, it's super easy to do. If anybody struggles, leave me a comment and I'll show you how I made it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Get it in shot. <laughs> there we go. Bye for now. <laughs>